<laughs> Happy Thursday. Oh my God, are you kidding me? He's literally sitting right here with me. This is Elvis. He's doing well, thanks for asking. We are ready for Christmas. Oh yes, we are. Oh, indeedy we are. Okay, we haven't done any shopping. We haven't done anything actually to prepare for Christmas, but mentally we're there, aren't we Elvis? Mm. So this week has been fun. I've been substituting at the school I used to work for and uh, teaching year nine students science. Thankfully, there was a good substitution plan in place, so I didn't actually have to blow up anything. And we watched videos. So that was exciting. And now it's time to start preparing for guests to arrive and for us to travel and for little Angel here to get his Christmas clothes together to pack. Um, but I wanted to say one thing today to you about ending this year and starting a new year soon. Um, and my message is this, when we take a look at ourselves, let me put you down here because he weighs so much I can hardly breathe. Hold on. I... When we're ending one year, 2018 is nearly over, uh, and we're starting a new one and we have all these grand goals for ourselves, right? Oh, next year I'm gonna be this person, and next year I'm gonna do this and this and this and this and this, and uh, maybe it's important to also take a look at today, and this year that we are in right now, 2018, what did we accomplish? What did we do really well in our lives, or in my life, or your life, that you're really proud of? Um, to not just jump over this year and forget about where we've been and think about the next place we're going. Where are we today? And did we accomplish what we wanted to? Did we even think about what we wanted to accomplish this year? And um, regardless of what those answers are, um, when we start fresh, when we start new for the new year, um, we kind of only have to start where we are. So my recommendation is this, start where you are. When you look at your life today, are you happy and are you healthy and are you doing all the things that you want to in your life and if you're not, what are you doing about that and do you really want to change things and if you do, then maybe you can start setting some small little bite-sized peace goals for yourself, right? Yeah, and that's the good thing about uh, every new day. Thankfully, we get them. And uh, instead of always looking in the future, uh, you know, goal setting is important. Of course, I understand that. Of course, it's my job. But um, also being thankful, being grateful for today and what we have done this year and thinking about what we didn't get done and why didn't we do it. And maybe we just made a different decision. We just said, you know what, I don't want to do that. Okay, that's good. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. And to let that go. And then now look at yourself today, start where you are today, not, oh my gosh, I should have been this person, I should have done that, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Just, who am I? Where am I? And what do I want? So be gentle with yourself. If we are given 525,600 minutes a year, remember, if, uh, like my coaching teacher said, carpe punctum, seize the moment, not even seize the day, not carpe diem, because we don't know what's going to happen in the next moment. If this moment is all I have, then am I happy? Am I really living the life that I want? And to really go inside like that is, um, it's easy to say, not so easy to do. Um, and I would hope that you can find maybe five minutes during your holiday season to take a walk or go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet for a while and you don't have to go to the bathroom just sit and think if you can't get any peace anyplace else go into the closet go wherever you want um, but get a moment and just think about you and your year and how did it go and I hope you're happy I really hope you're happy and I hope you're healthy and I hope that you are seizing every moment because you know what you deserve it you sure do with love happy holidays I'll see you next Thursday and Steve, ah, I just called him Steve. Oh no. Oh my God. Elvis, my sweet new Elvis will be with me too. Alrighty. Happy holidays. Take care. Bye-bye.